Hello everyone, welcome to Hunt the Night. This is a cool top-down action-adventure game that I played the demo for quite a while ago, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I've been looking forward to the release of this one, so let's go ahead and hop in. Not quite a Metroidvania, but uh, we need to mix up the month a little bit, I think. And there's some time before the next one comes out. Playing with controller and using headphones is highly recommended, probably because that music was awesome. Day and night alternate in an endless cycle where myriad tides of time pass between each one. The cycle of day is ruled by humanity and night by horrid creatures. Despite their efforts, the arrival of the night always heralds death for humanity. In the ninth age of man, far behind the twilight, only two things keep humanity from total annihilation. The moonlight and the stalkers. Sorry, I had to read that kind of fast. I was worried. <laughs> Now, one order of vigilant crows has been summoned. From every corner of Medrom, they flock to reconquer what was once the great fortress of Ravenford. Wow, Ravenford is is a name. Ooh, I like your little bombs. Okay, so we are a stalker. Someone that uh, travels at night, I suppose. Hunt the night. That's a cool logo. I like that logo. Very, very edgy with all the sharp points and things. All right, hunt the knight. Hit me with it. Here we are. Vesper. Oh, hello. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, that reminds me of the beginning of Nine Years of Shadows and also the beginning of, like, Bloodborne, where, you know, you, you wake up in a place and have to deal with a werewolf. Excuse me, could you repeat that? It seems like we turn into, like, a darkness version of ourselves. Oh, look at our hair bounce as we move. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. All right, how are we how are we looking? Do I have controls yet? I'm pressing all the buttons and nothing's happening. So, oh yeah, this place looks great. Oh yeah, yeah, this is exactly where I want to be. Anytime you see tons of those melty candles on the ground, you know you're in a good place. Vesper can use her dark powers to dash, thereby avoiding falls and other hazards. Press A to use your dash, but keep in mind that it consumes dark energy. The purple bar at the top left corner of the screen. Okay, so that's just our stamina meter, basically, and probably also our MP, if I had to guess. Okay. Oh, the little animation on us is so nice. I love that our hair bounces as we move. It's a nice touch. It's so wiggly in here. Look at how wiggly it is. Vesper is a pretty cool name. Um, all I can think of is Vesper is the actual, like, communion thing that, uh, that, uh, Christianity does. Where you, uh, drink the- the wine that's the blood of Christ, and then, uh, the- the little bits of bread. I always like those. They're like little crackers. Press X to attack. Keep pressing it to perform a three-hit combo. I imagine the last hit of the combo does more damage. Ooh, you can start another combo very quickly. Okay. Okay, they seem relatively simple to defeat. Alright, later, nerds. Ooh, roses. Press up to use a crimson rose to heal your wounds. Is my HP the little blood droplets up there? So I heal crimson rose. Okay, I have three of them. Okay, are we working on limited heals? Is that the system we're doing? Interact with crow shrines to fully recover your health, bullets, and save your progress. Losing all your blood drops will make you respawn here. Okay, so yeah, the blood is my health. Okay. And we have... Bullets? I noticed the chamber over there. Okay. Cool. Well, the game is very, very dark right now. Or very edgy and dark, which I, well, I'm i down for. Move right to enter aim mode and press RT to shoot. Each ranged weapon consumes a particular number of bullets from the gun cylinder at the top left of the screen. 
You can reload bullets using your melee weapons. Every three hits will recharge one bullet from the gun cylinder. Try to alter between close and ranged combat to maximize your damage output. Okay, so this is like our magic, basically. Of course, we also have the purple meter. That's effectively acting more as a stamina meter at the moment, though. So... Up here? This music's going hard right now. Hello. Nothing down there? Nope. Another eyeball platform. Okay. Cool. I don't think I'm missing anything. I love how purple it is. Even though I'm pretty sure that stuff would kill me if I stepped into it. Cool. Alright. Boss fight time. Look at our little animation. Look at us go. My sword looks like it's made out of rubber. The way the way it's moving, it's like boing 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 boing. <laughs> okay, hi. Is this a spawner? It probably is. Why'd the music stop? Okay. We're doing it. Okay, no, maybe I can't damage that thing. I think I just have to do all the phases. It seems like it's freaking out more as I kill more of these things. Yeah. Okay, so it's just a gauntlet of enemies, basically. Alright, that's not too bad. I was wondering if I could damage it, but it had like a little barrier-looking thing. So I was like, hmm, am I actually damaging this thing? Damn, this is quite the run. Apparently we really don't like that statue. Okay. So why did we do that? <laughs> we cut open the statue and purple ooze came out and then we... Teleported? So there's a raven feather, and then there was a snake there. Did we just die? Or did I, like, accomplish what I set out to do? Okay, so we're back over here. That bird statue seems incredibly happy. It's like, yeah! Main menu is now available. You can open it by pressing that. From there, you can equip weapons, moonstones, dark powers, and suits. Gravity suit? Use the feather tab to read the infused crow feathers you gather as they contain useful information. Okay. Nameless terror obtained. Okay, and here's our menu. Okay, so no, no, probably no gravity suit. Plagum, hemokinesis, energy recovery, damage, health. My current weapon is Promise, Vesper's favorite sword given to her by her mother before she disappeared 25 years ago. Despite its age, the edge retains its sharpness. Health plus 10, Vesper suit. Vesper earned her childhood nickname Pale Cat, thanks to her agility and fast reflexes. In exchange for superior protection, this suit allows her to move free more freely during combat. Yeah, that's always a useful one. We have no dark powers or moonstones. Alright, so let's tab a uh, feather. Here we go. There's something strange among the horrors that populate this place. Somehow bigger, faster, and with a disturbing intelligence. The common ghouls were no rivals for us, led by Dominic Hale from the second murder. And we quickly purified the outer chambers. The second murder, because it's a group of- it's a group of, like, crows and ravens. Interesting. But isn't murder crows? And haven't we been referred to as ravens, or am I misremembering? Our feet was on par with Alexandra's great purges of the bowels of the earth. Oh, what a victory, yet none of us were prepared for the grotesquerie that lurked further within. 
Without warning, the night awoke deep within the fortress and saw those sharp, bright red fangs in the darkness. It hunted us by one, leaving behind only this pitiful remnant of myself. And now, in my final moments, I ask myself the reason behind this mission. A curse on the Blackbone and the damage they have done to our world. So is this- is this Vesper writing these? Common ghouls, led by blah blah blah, our feet was on par. What of it is uh Without warning, the night awoke and saw those sharp, bright red fangs in the darkness, which we saw in the intro cutscene. It hunted us one by one, leaving behind only this pitiful remnant of myself. Maybe, maybe it's this character that wrote that, not Vesper. So another squad was sent here to take care of this stuff, but they were very, very in over their head. Um, Night Howl. Damage 15, bullet consumption 1. This exclusive, uh, the exclusive multi-caliber revolver of the Order of the Stalkers. Okay, so we're just called Stalkers. Capable of shooting bullets at extremely high speed. Stalkers are trained to extend their strong arm and bend their support arm in a precise stance, allowing them to quickly stabilize the weapon after each shot. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We were called Stalkers. That, that does make sense from the beginning of the game. I thought it gave us the name Raven or something as well, and our logo is clearly like a crow or raven. But, uh, yeah. Vesper can throw grenades in the direction she's aiming by pressing LT. They're limited and can be replenished by touching a crow shrine. Interesting. We have grenades. Okay, calm down. Save game. Jeez, lightning strike. Okay, do we have a map? I don't think we do. Oh, I just threw a grenade. Okay, you throw it in a straight line, you don't lob it. Okay, well that's good to know. We can luckily just refresh them right here. Make some more grenades, Geralt. Thank you. Okay, there's stuff up there, so can I get through this door, or...? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. I vaguely remember this area from the demo? Very vaguely, like barely. And obviously the demo was much different as well. I feel very strong, but these- I'm basically just killing like- For lack of a better term, shadow children. <laughs> so... I don't uh, imagine they're supposed to be very hard here. I would really feel safer with a map. Um, cause I'm gonna be worried that I haven't checked everything in all the rooms. But we'll see. Because I want to get up there. Uh, hi. Okay, we managed to kill you. You were about to attack me there for a second, but we took care of it. Okay, I did refill my... What just shot me? None of that, please. Okay, it's just two hits to take these things out, so that's not too bad at all. And yeah. Whoop. Okay. Uh. These things are annoying. Okay, you're down. No, you don't. Okay. Pretty, uh, pretty simple so far. There's treasure up there that I want. And see, there was, un there was so many other rooms I could go into. This is what worries me. I feel like I'm missing stuff constantly because I don't have the map to refer to. Um, hopefully the enemies don't respawn. You can step over Noctilium Rifts to recharge your bullets and dark energy. Ah, so that's, that's those things. I thought there was one more down there. Okay. Didn't realize, uh, you know what? Whoop. I missed. There we go. That poisoned you. Okay, those seem those seem very effective when I actually hit them. Whoop! I saw you. Hey, dork. Oh. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. At least the enemy's dead. All right. So let's grab this because I wanted this treasure chest here. Hunting spear. Okay, hold the phone. I like spear. These long and sturdy spears were crafted in Ravenford during the Sixth Age. Despite some stalkers considering them outdated, these ceremonial weapons are still used even now. Give me spear. Oh, why are you slashing with the spear? 
No, don't slash with the spear. You poke with it. That's the whole point. I mean, the last one's a poke. I'll, I'll use it, but I'm not, not happy with that spear. It doesn't do what I want it to. Not happy at all. Man, I might as well just shoot them and stand on this thing to get my bullets back. Makes my life a little bit easier. I mean, I guess it does have more range. I was wondering if I could hit those things, but no. Oh my god, see, I'm all the way over here. I need a map. Did, did I miss a map somewhere? In this menu? No. We, we have to get a map at some point, right? But back opens that menu, which worries me. I don't know. I'm gonna feel very, very naked without a map. Okay, that opens that, but clearly I need to open another one. Hi? So that probably just opened the thing out there. Wait, what do these do? Is there a specific order? Whoa. I'm just- I'm just gonna shoot you a bunch. It's easier. There we go. Okay, so that's taken care of. Can I go through here now? There must be a specific order. What am I missing? Because it spawned enemies there. I'm guessing because I did things in the wrong order. Oh, okay, okay, wait, that one stayed down. I see. So... Okay, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. So, this one first. Then the one on the right side. Then the one in the middle. Alright, gotcha. Understood. Ooh, Plague Doctor. Hello. Uh... Damn you. Okay, the, the spear does have more range. The sword is way faster, which I do like. But this does have a lot more range, which is nice. Eye of the Night obtained. What is that? Dark Power? Moonstone? Neither of these things? Upgrades? Key items? Despite what most people believe, Noctilium is not only used for the creation of moonstones. The sanguine aristocrats who process Noctilium as jewelry in order to flaunt their power and wealth. Or the, sangu the sanguine aristocrats used it. Alright, we got some plague doctors hanging out. Okay, so this just takes me over here. Okay, but wait, but wait, there there is stuff back there I want to go check out. Right? Like there there's a there's a whole other room back in this place. Um and I don't think the the enemies respawned. Never mind. The enemies totally respawned. Or is it just these is it just the babies? If it's just the babies, I'm not worried. It's not just the babies. Oh my god, it sends me all the way back there if I fall? Ooh, that's rude. Okay, at least the enemies don't respawn. Okay. So back here is where I wanted to get to. Because in the previous room, there was another path I could take. I'm just gonna run past most of the enemies. Fortunately, they can travel on the goop. I can't. Because, yeah, there was stuff back here, and I want to check it out. Oh, okay. Is that you? Whoop. There you go, you're dead. Uh-huh. And you're dead. Cool. Oh, God. It's a lot of them. I'm hurting. Let's go ahead and use a Crimson Rose. That's the first time I've had to heal the whole game, though. My dodge is very, very good, to be fair. Like, it's it's quite strong, my dodge. Always takes four for you. Okay. So, yeah, I want to see what's going on up here. Because there's clearly stuff up here. And the question is, how do I get Al up there? Because there's... there's that... I'm pretty sure I saw another door in here somewhere. Yeah, there's a staircase here. So I totally skipped this because I thought the big staircase was progress, but no, the path I went was actually progress. 
Also, I guess I can just dash across there, huh? I totally can. I was thinking I couldn't, but no, I, I totally can. Uh-uh. None of that, please. You stop that. Anything in there? Are there ever going to be anything in these barrels? Okay, so this is just a dungeon or a room with one of these dorks in it. All right, later. Anything I can examine? Or is it just this? Moonstone Will. Okay, well, that's actually a moonstone. The Will Glyph acts as a pain inhibitor, allowing stalkers to keep their focus during battle. This particular moonstone was made to provide enough resistance to infuse a crow feather before dying, even if severely injured. Okay, so it just gives me two extra pips of HP. So... I now have 100 HP. Cool. Alright, well that was, uh, that was good to come back for. I'm glad I came back for that. Oh. Uh. Okay. We got a, we got a ranger. Oh, you're behind the barrier, and of course you can shoot over it, but I can't. Oh, into the goop. Oh, all the way back here? Oh, pain. The goop is pain. Don't fall into the goop. Oh, the goop is painful. Okay. Yeah, it resets, like, the entire room, basically. Okay, I should maybe throw a grenade over there, then. Okay, is that dork dying? Okay, that dork died. Okay, with you dead, I can take this idiot out pretty easily. There we go. Bye. Okay, so this was just for this treasure. Good. Lacerators? What? Are those daggers? Lacerators are complex mechanisms that fire sharp crow feathers at extremely high speeds. Each feather is infused with dark energy by the court of the Insomnus in a sacred ritual that can last up to two weeks. Gimme! I throw feathers? Oh, never mind. Okay. It's our- it's our claw weapon, basically. Well, I gotta try him. Come on. How could I not? It would be so incredibly uncouth for me not to at least try it. Give me my stuff back, please. Thank you. Bye, nerds. Okay, I think everybody over here is dead. Yeah, I killed these these idiots. All right, so we're good. Now we're now we're back to where I was before, and I've uh, explored everything. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so now we can proceed into this room. Um, the gates reopened for me. Whoop. Hi. Okay, yeah, those things are very fast. God, I have so much currency already. Look at me, 1600? What is this? Oh, it just had more currency in it. Hi. Ew. Ew, I hate it. Okay, this game's doing some cool stuff, though. I like it a lot. It's doing quite a bit with, uh, with the art and everything. I, I like it a, I like it a ton. It's got beautiful animations, and it's very, very creepy. Like, it's doing a good job of setting a creepy atmosphere. Reading some crow feathers will allow you to discover the solution for some puzzles. Open the menu and select the feather tab to read them after getting a new one. Use knowledge saved on the feather by another member of the stalkers to solve this puzzle. Okay, like, I was like, what is moving me? Something was moving me there, and I was very worried about it, but it was giving me a thing. Okay, that was weird. Huh, okay. <laughs> that was a bad timing for a tutorial if you're not gonna pause it. I'm surrounded by marauders. Oh no, I missed one! This might be my last chance to infuse the crow feather. You must heed my words. Secret lies in interacting with the statue of Lillian and her children in a specific order. I found an old manuscript that may be of help. It reads... Marked by tragedy, the royal family starts a new journey from which they will never return. Lillian goes last, right in the middle, surrounded by terrors. Edward goes first, crying in the far west. So first is Edward, crying in the far west. So you... Uh-huh. Then... Uh, Clarice goes second, singing in the near east. So that would be you. Um, 
Rowena goes third, laughing in the far east. Frederick goes fourth, all teeth and claws in the near west. Okay, so then it's it's this, this, and then the mother. Wait, that wasn't right? Oh, I thought that was right. Is it... No, that's incorrect. Huh, I, th I thought I was doing it right there. But it said you go, you go last in the middle. Am I not doing it fast enough? Maybe I'm not doing it fast enough. Let's uh, refresh here. Lillian goes last, right in the middle. Edward goes first, crying in the far west. Clarice goes second, in the near east. Maybe, maybe it means near east. Okay, never mind. I was thinking, because it says near east, so I was thinking east of Edward. Right? So I was like, maybe that's what it's talking about. It says in the near east, so I was like, maybe that's, maybe that's what it means. But I'm guessing it means in relation to Lillian. So it would be Edward right here. Um, and then it would be near east, far east. Okay, so it's like that, this, this, and then this, and then you. Okay. Okay, I was misinterpreting there. Alright, so it was in relation to, to the mother, not, uh, not actual directions from where I currently am. Alright, well, what, what now? What does that do? Do I... Interact with something, do something. I activated them. Oh, whoa, okay. It allows me to get to the Necronomicon over here. The crow feather, honor of my order, now rejects me. Nothing can fool our most sacred object, which easily spies the horror behind the mask. Let this writing be the last remi remainder of my legacy. It was not the time of kings, but of sacrifices. No one could imagine that he would return, bringing with him demands for blood and flesh. He appealed to the Great Oath, and his will was unstoppable. Okay. So that's one bit of the door open now, I guess? Oh, hey, it's a secret passage. Hold, hold the phone. Where do you go? Okay. Is this just a shortcut back out to the main room? Okay, hi. Hey, oh, it's a shortcut back out here. Okay. So now we go back into the main room. Yeah, the, the claws are very fast, as is expected. I- the spear grew on me, I'm not gonna lie to you. The spear grew on me a little bit. It, it sweeps instead of stabs, but... It still has some pretty good range. You know? This reminds me of Lamentum, being in this place with these, like, rugs and this very classical look. It definitely, definitely reminds me of Lamentum. Moonstone Hound? What do you do? Night Owl damage per shot plus three. Carving the Hound Glyph allows stalkers to infuse their Night Owl, Night Howl ammunition with dark energy, increasing their damage. That might be good. Uh, I'm gonna play a little bit safe and keep the extra HP on for now, until I know just how difficult the game is. But um, that's good to know. Yeah, definitely big, big, big lamentum feelings right now. Dark Dawn. What is that? Hi, cute trap. Not gonna work though. Okay, what are you? Big two-handed sword. Oh, great sword! Famous great sword that once belonged to the House of Bradbury. Slow and powerful heavy weapons are uncommon among stalkers, but have proven vital against extremely resilient night creatures. Yeah, you need something to slay a dragon. Okay, we'll we'll try it. I think I'm gonna prefer the other things to be honest, but. We will try it. It does have the benefit of being able to one-hit these things. One more hit. There we go. Yeah, so we can one-hit those. We can just cut a swath through them. Uh... Should I go here first? No, I should not. Well, it seems like we're locked in, huh? Ow, you actually got me. Okay, it's just another one of oh, all these things. Okay, you're dead. 
Ow. Ooh, we gotta heal. We gotta heal. Alright. There we go. We're good. God, you shoot so fast. We gotta be careful of those things. The sword's gonna get me killed. Are we good? Oh, there's one of these dorks. Too slow, nerd. Oh, alright, we're good. We're fine. I was a little bit worried there for a second, but yeah, the sword- the sword being slower is, uh... is a bit of a pain. <clears throat> so what does this do? Use the Eye of the Night. Wait, is this actually progress and that was an optional room? Or... Purifier? Wait a... wait a minute here? Technological milestone of the Ninth Age, incapable of firing a devastating blast of lead that is positively deadly at close range. Due to high production costs, this firearm is only accessible to the most virtuous stalkers. So it's a shotgun. It's a shoot bang. Um, we, we gotta, we gotta try it. We gotta try it. Wait, I didn't actually switch it? How do I switch? I thought I would just select it like that. Do I... Can't equip it here. Is there a way to swap my... Oh, up there. Oh, okay, RB, LB. Okay, okay, there we go. So we can switch it on the fly, which is nice. I don't I don't have to, like, equip it and then change things if I want to equip something else. That's nice. Hello. I'm wounded. I've been deprived of my feather and will surely die soon. I've hidden one of our relic, uh, reapins. I, I, I don't know if that's correct, but that's hilariously edgy if you just switch out the W for an R so it reads reap. <laughs> For you, stalker. Go find it and purge these monsters once and for all. The bust is the key. Go now and find the Eye of the Night. I've already done that. I thought that was a table in the middle of the room, so I kind of walked around it, but, uh, it seems it was not. Reaping. That would be hilarious if they seriously called them that <laughs> instead of weapons. Oh, that would be so funny. Uh, Petals of Hope? Is this the one I missed? It is! Everything indicates that Isaac Steelguard, possessor of the Devastation, rests near here. Can feel the dark power emanating from his corpse, and yet there's something else. A little miracle that has caught my attention. Lilith flowers. Spread through the forgotten courtyards of Ravenford like reflections of the constellations under the starry sky. These flowers manage to transform darkness into, bright into brightness. Powerful defense mechanism against the creatures of the night. When hit, their petals spread around and shine even brighter. We can use that to our advantage. The representations in writing and banners do not do justice to the cold and melancholic beauty of their dim light. What a beautiful place to die. Lilith flowers. Reflections. So, flowers. I hit them? And, yeah. I hit them and it generates a little bit of light for me. Well, that's nice. I see. Oh, I didn't land in the goop. You're a liar. So I have to keep hitting them to keep refreshing them, it seems. I'm gonna- I'm gonna be honest, not feel- not feeling the greatsword. I wanna go back to- Let's go back to my spear. I'll take the lower damage. Gladly. Okay. Uh, I think that's where I wanna go next? That is a pit. What in the world does it expect me to do about that? What? I mean, I can't- oh, okay, I can't just walk here. Does it want me to- Why? Okay, well that's just great. That shocked me. Great. Thank you, puppy. Hey, you gave me something good, though? I plunged into darkness under the light of our torches, but those creatures do not know fire. They do not need it, they simply embrace change. Adapt or die, an impossible task if we are to flock to a torch like moths to a flame. We must sacrifice what makes us weak, no matter the price. Yeah, our reliance on the light? 
That's what makes us weak. Okay, well, I made it down here. Um, oh, hey, another feather. This episode's getting kind of long. Dark powers are special abilities that have different effects. Equip one in the status tab and use it by pressing B. Once used, you must wait until it recharges before you can use it again. Phantom blades. These dark energy infused blades spin around the user at high speed. Oh my god, it's summon swords from Devil May Cry, Virgil's ability. Tearing through nearby enemies. The supreme mastery of this dark technique granted Lillian Morris her famous nickname, Lady of the Knife, instead of Lady of the Night. That's cool, that's cool. All right, we have summon swords. Good shit, good shit. I'm down for some summon swords. All right, well, let's go. It only has a 12 second cooldown too. That's quite nice. Oh wow, I came out of there. Okay, we're just back over here with our with our dork friend. Alright. Well, I think that's a fantastic spot to go ahead and end off the first episode. Might be cliffhanging it before a boss fight, but uh who knows? But yeah, this is super, super cool so far. Glad I decided to play this. So hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.